Noah Jet here at the Keg Lounge. Good stuff in here, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Noah Jet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our beach travel vlog, we enjoy dive bar food with a burger at the Keg Lounge and Grill on the Gulf Coast in Orange Beach, Alabama. This dive bar opened up back in 1980 and lays claim to being the oldest bar in Orange Beach. The Keg is located in Orange Beach, Alabama at 26796 Canal Road, which is about three hours and 195 miles from the New Orleans French Quarter. Join us for a beach dive bar food travel adventure as we explore Orange Beach style dive bar food with a cheeseburger. If you're looking for an old school bar experience, this might be a place for you to investigate. They have a nice large back patio area here as you can see. And I've been going to the keg for a really long time. This used to be the place that we would go to after the Floribama closed at 2 a.m. We would come and stay here till dawn. Unfortunately, they changed the laws on Orange Beach. So now they have to close at 2 a.m. here. Let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. Fortunately, not much has changed in all the years I've been going to this joint. They still have another keg barrel right here over the entrance. And then they have some stuff uh, that advertises they are the oldest bar since 1980. Then they have some t-shirts right here and a lot of old things that have been here for a long time. And they're also home of their world famous keg burger. And they do have quite a nice burger here. The only downside to this joint is it's got the soaked in odor of many decades of cigarette smoke in here. So that can be a little funky and overpowering sometimes. Uh, overall though, that's not too bad today. So this is a lot easier to endure than the olden days when it would be chock full of smokers everywhere and I would head out to the patio to escape all of that smoke. In my opinion, the keg has never been quite the same since they had to start closing at 2 a.m. instead of just getting the party started at 2 a.m. So I propose we create a new political action group called the Party Party, where we're going to advocate to get the law changed to allow the keg to once again operate until late night hours and then some. So let's make it just like New Orleans where we have 24 seven bar hours along with Go Cups throughout Orange Beach. Orange Beach has already allowed Go Cups in the wharf, so I think it's a small change to allow it to be everywhere. And there's enough folks from New Orleans that have moved into this area. I think we might have enough political clout to make it happen. So let's la bolto roule and let's get this party party started. And let's go ahead and also check out the menu now. So we have burgers with world's famous award-winning keg burger, lettuce, tomato, pickle, ketchup, mustard, mayo, and grilled onion, loaded keg cheeseburger, double cheeseburger if you can handle it, extra items, bacon, mushrooms, and jalapenos, then sandwiches, French dip with au jus and Swiss cheese, marinated grilled chicken breast sandwich, fried chicken tender sandwich, grilled cheese sandwich, grilled ham and cheese sandwich, barbecue pork sandwich, home smoked and keg sauce, BLT sandwich, club sandwich, jumbo, quarter pound hot dog, add chili or cheese, entrees, open face Cajun roast beef with fries, hamburger steak with mushrooms, onions, gravy fries, chicken tenders, chicken wings, hot or mild, pizza, a nine inch cheese pizza, or a loaded pizza, everything but the kitchen sink, and you can add additional pizza toppings. On the other side of the menu, we have salads with a mixed salad, a chef salad, a grilled chicken salad. Then we have other items with cheese fries, French fries, onion rings, fried mushrooms, mozzarella cheese sticks, cheddar jalapeno chicken balls, sampler basket, mac and cheese bites, quesadilla, pretzels, fried green beans. Then we have drinks with soft drinks, juice, iced tea, coffee. Then we have a kid's menu with hot dog with fries, grilled cheese with fries, chicken tenders with fries, and cheese fries. So I had to go with the loaded keg cheeseburger with a side of fries on my dining companion. Got the loaded keg cheeseburger with a side of onion rings. Oh yeah. And the keg, one of my old late night hangouts. Yeah. This is quite a large burger. Look at this monster, oh yeah. 
I'm not sure how the structural integrity is gonna hold up. Look at this thing. The meat is bigger than the bun. And we've already got some of the vegetables sliding out here. So the lettuce is wanting to escape. Ooh, the lettuce is already wanting to slip out of here. I might have to do a little quick repair job to get the lettuce back inside. So let's uh, be careful here. This is definitely a little slippy and slidey with the lettuce part. Everything else seems to be holding together pretty well with the cheesiness of the ooey gooey cheese there. All right, I got the lettuce back inside there. Now continue. So uh, this is a much better structural integrity now. I kind of crunched the lettuce down into a smaller area. Now that tomato looks like it wants to slip out, but so far it's doing pretty well. I got a little piece of lettuce that's escaping out of the bottom. So uh, overall, it's good structural integrity other than my old nemesis, that sliced piece of lettuce. It seems the chopped lettuce typically stays on there better. The uh, single piece of lettuce that's large likes to often slip and slide, but there is a lot of good cheesy goodness here that's helping to keep everything together. Each and every bite is full of juicy, delicious flavor. It really is quite a large burger, and it is a little challenging actually to open my mouth up large enough to bite into this monster as it is a thicker piece of meat on here. So trying to eat the double cheeseburger would be quite a challenge. Okay, I've just about gotten to the last little bit of my bun here. Look at this. I have a whole lot more meat than bun. So let's see, this little tomato could escape. And I'm almost done with the bun. So look at this. I literally have no bun left. I have more meat and this tomato than I do bun. That is always an excellent indicator. To end up with more meat and no bun is a huge bonus to me. That is the real measure of a fantastic burger when you end up with more meat than you did bread. So yes, and guess what? We're still not done. There's more burger meat that fell out right here. Look at this chunk of huge meat. Oh my gosh, this just lets you know what a big piece of meat they put on this burger. You're definitely getting a good value for your burger experience here. And look, there's still another little chunk of meat. So this is definitely one of the most amazing meat to bun ratio burgers I've had before. Now I stole some onion rings from my dining companion. So ooh, let's check these out. All right, so good crunch. It's got some nice onion flavor, so this is a good onion ring, so this is certainly a good side. And I definitely have uh, enjoyed that first one, and of course I got a second one. So let's see if two in a row stay good, and yes, very nice onion rings. And now let's try out these french fries. So wow, these things are fried very crisp and crunchy on the outside, no flexing at all, and a good crunch and it's soft and fluffy on the inside. So these are very crisp, crunchy fries. There's a nice coating of salt on there. I've got some ooey gooey cheese gluing these two together right there. So the fries have a nice flavor to them. They're appropriately seasoned. They're pretty much exactly like I would like my French fries to be. So I'm really enjoying them. They're all a good size length, so they're easy to pick up, and they're just really perfectly fried, perfectly prepared. So, a really good experience with these french fries and those onion rings, and here we are. I just have a few little fries left to go, and what's gonna happen when I don't have any food left? Uh-oh. Here we go, my last bite. That was a really fantastic time. So just like I've totally destroyed this burger of fries, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below. Let me know what you thought about the keg cheeseburger. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon accounts. I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived and the total for two keg cheeseburgers, the fries, the onion rings, and some beers was $33.17 before tip. Thanks so much to everybody at The Keg for many years of really awesome late night fun along with fantastic food. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolajet channel, especially to my Patreons. And would you kindly take a moment to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it as it really would help me with a YouTube algorithm? Then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people.
Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nola Jet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.